Hey guys, how are you doing? We're gonna go inside Lord Jabu Jabu today, but before that, we have some goodies to get up on Death Mountain, Death Mountain Trail, Goron City. And then after that, straight on to Zoro's Domain, we have a special scale to get, a bottle to retrieve, a message in a bottle, and then Lord Jabu Jabu. And we're gonna beat that, and then that'll give us our final spiritual stone, the Sapphire. And with all three of these, we then can go to the Temple of Time, which we'll be doing next time. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. This is Loud Boy, and we're gonna go in three, two, one, let's go. All right, guys, here we go. The first thing we're gonna do is go into the House of Skulltala because we have enough now to get ourselves the next prize. And there he is. The curse has been broken, thank you, and here's the reward. And there it is, the Stone of Agony. Back in the old days, of course, we had what was called a Rumble Pack. And if you played the original in the you know, Nintendo 64 version, you remember that giant pack, couple of AA batteries in it. It's basically a, uh, a rumble, it vibrated. And uh, now it's built into this controller, but uh, that's why the icon looks like that, right? Um, so yeah, and it's called the Stone of Agony. And what that does is when we're near a secret, um, it will alert us. For instance, various holes in the ground. Uh, there's one right out here. I walk right over here. Yep. Can you guys hear that? Anyway, uh, my controller is vibrating right now. I'm not going to open that hole yet. I could bomb it. However, uh, there's a gold rupee down there. I don't need it. I have enough rupees at the moment. However, when we go to buy some magic beans, and I want to get a lot more rupees to buy more magic beans, Great place to go back and get 200 more. So that's what I can do. But for now, we have a couple goodies to get up here on the old trail. First one is right here. Oh, <laughs> I did it again. And we'll take two. All right, there we go. All right, in here, believe it or not, this is a wall that you can climb. First things first though, we gotta wipe this guy out. And then we'll claim our prize. There we go. All right. Oh yeah. Meanwhile, I got this jerk wide behind me. Get out of here. All right. Yeah. It doesn't look like it. Looks like a regular wall, but it's a it's a climbable wall, and giving us another gold skull tall. That nice. All right. Heading back up the trail. I have some bugs ready. Because last time we blew this boulder. If you haven't seen it yet, the, the last installment, we went into Dundango's Cavern, right down this, this little uh, hallway here. And um, when we blew that boulder, the soft soil spot. Hey, I gotta thank you. One of my new subscribers wrote me, schooling me, which I love. He's like, hey, dude. Uh, you don't ha it doesn't have to be nighttime for the soft soil spot gold skull tell us so thank you bud I never claimed to be the all-consuming expert in this game. No, no, I don't know at all even after all these years um, Assumptions are made, but you know what I play the game because I love the game and just like you guys and Therefore yeah, I don't claim to know everything and that's why I love after all of these years we can still share with each other, uh, tell each other things that we might not know, secrets, silly things that we assumed along the way, like that one. So anyway, I thank you guys, man. Your comments are incredible. <laughs> Talk about a waste, right? Yeah. Yeah. So glad I got that 50 right there. Yeah. Okay. But hey, I want to show you that it was there. So down below... There is, you saw it. We got the gold skull Tulla, and in that little alcove there, 
We have... By the way, you can blow these boulders. Giving us access to... You could also use these tight ropes over there. But this gives us access to a little sub area here. Now that we have bombs, we can kind of bomb our way through. I'm trying to remember which way to go. Kind of think it's... No, it's not straight. It's right here. Um, for now, we can take care of these kind of brown colored boulders. And that was a lovely waste. As I'm running low on bombs. You gotta love it. There we go. And it's this way. Yep. We're blowing our way to the back of the room here. I want to say... Again, I do all this from memory. Um, sometimes it serves me, sometimes it doesn't. It, it did that time. Nice. Okay. Yep. <laughs> well, that's not why we're here. Okay, yeah, thank you, yeah. Meaning, I didn't there, that's, that's why we're here. I didn't need the rupees. But, oh yes, I love it when we're low on hearts. Such good stuff. All right, so yeah, at the back of this room, you can blow your way through these boulders, get yourself a gold skull tulla, and as you just saw, whether you need them or not, there is a couple of uh, 50 rupee uh, uh, you know, 50 worth rupees there. So, there is a new guy here. And uh, this is another one where... This is always hit and miss. No pun intended. Um, this little hot, rotting, speeding dude. You're about to see him, I hope. Do I hear him? Oh, 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 turn around, turn around. No, 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 no. Crud. Okay. I'm down to four. Crud. Okay. He's actually not that fast. And I let him hit me. That was dumb. Oh, this is embarrassing. Okay. Let's try and get this right. No! Oh! Oh, come on. I need some good luck right now. Good luck. Blow up. Blow up right now. Come on. Blow. Blow bomb bomb. Oh, crap. Oh. Okay. Oh, the embarrassment never stops. Yeah, I, I chasing after him is not the best idea, and I'm I'm still doing it, aren't I? Um, yes. Okay. That was embarrassing, but hey, you know we we stopped him. Let's talk to him. All right, I'll give you this in praise of your courage. Look at that the big bomb bag, lovely prize. Now we can carry up to thirty. Which is great, because, you know what, you, you just saw... Hey, by the way, thanks for steamrolling me on the way out. Lovely guy. Alright. So, yeah, that... is what we can do here in Goron City. Next up, let's work our way out of here. Don't hit me, please. Thank you. Let's work our way up back out of here. Wrong way. It's kind of crazy. It's not that complicated of an area, and yet you, you take one wrong turn and you've gone the wrong way. Okay, now that we've gotten a bigger bomb bag, we've got a couple of gold skull tullas. We are going to head up Death Mountain real quick again. We will get over to Lord Jabu Jabu very soon. Last time, and if you haven't seen it yet, please check it out. Dondongo's Cavern. That's available right now. The episode that precedes this one. We blew these boulders. And because of that, we now have access to going all the way up to the top of Death Mountain. Alright, here comes the Lava Rocks. This is where, of course, the Hylian Shield pays off beautifully. protecting us. As I mentioned last time, you can try to just run your way through here, do an end run, but you will take some damage, obviously. It does help to stop at least once or twice along the way. And go, go, go. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna run for it. 
Here's a hit. Here's a hit. Alright, they made it. Alright. Taking care of the Skeletala on the wall. And then we're going to work our way up to the top. There's a couple of goodies up here. We're climbing, we're climbing. And now we know what time it is. All right, here we go. We are at the top. This takes us to Death Mountain Crater. Very hot place. Later on, we'll have the Goron Tunic, which will of course be heat and fire resistant. However, for now, we do have a, a lovely timer. And with this timer, there is just enough time to grab this. There's a crate right inside. Now, what you want to do is, if you want to go for goodie number two at this point in the game, step back out, reset the timer, and then book it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I say book it. I'm not going to make it. Oh, yeah. You're getting the best today. Go, go, go. No, no. Okay. That's like one heart's worth of damage. Or, or it's game over. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. All right, we'll try this again. Okay. We're climbing, we're climbing, we're climbing. Piece of heart. That gave us an entire new container. We're good to go. Let's do a swan dive. Oh, no, no, okay, oh, oh well. I was gonna dive into the lava. Oh yeah, this is a record. What is it, two or three times now? We've had a lovely game over. Oh, well. It is what it is, right? Okay. But, we got our heart container. We have... Yep, that felt good. Oh, crap. Alright. Such bravado. I rage forward with not enough hearts, and uh, and, and already and already blew my fairy earlier. So, yeah, yeah, you're really getting the best today, aren't you guys? Um, but hey, we're gonna make it right up here. If you remember last time when we did Donango's Cavern, um, there was that hole that we blew with a little secret. What is that sucker called? The name for that, the underground little thing. Um, point is, it's there. I saved them for just stop hitting me. Oh, that was close. Okay. Um, I, I saved it for the, just this kind of moment, didn't I? Yeah, baby. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Off to Zora's River we go. Let's go the right direction. Hey. Yes, Navi probably telling us, hey, you need to go over to Zora's River, to Zora's Domain. We're headed there, lady. All right. Here we go. Back to the village. We're going to make a pit stop first. 
There's one of those builders running around, not doing his job. Hey, get to work, buddy. All right. Of course, you guys know where I'm headed. We're going back to the graveyard. First things first. Play the sun song. That way we can go pull back a grave at night. Just like that. Let's equip a couple bottles. And we're about to get another bottle, of course. But for now, we have two. Run, Link. Man, that guy gets a lot of work. Work out. All right, here we go. There's one. And two. Awesome. Now, let's switch those off. And we're done. Thank you, fairies. All right. We now have seven full hearts, two bottles with fairies. It's a lot more prep than we had last time for Donago's Cavern, isn't it? <laughs> oh. How I rage into the night with reckless abandon. Not preparing. Oh, it is what it is. All right. Here we go. Let's head off to the river. Until Dandango's Cavern, of course, we did not have yet a bomb bag in our inventory. Now we do. That's important because blocking the way to the river and eventually to the domain of Zora's are three giant boulders. Now we can take care of those handily. This is my little kind of quick way over here, by the way. Running around along water's edge. I found it to be like the, the fastest way to get from point A to point B. Um, you know, until we get a Pona, so much running on these little legs. They only go so fast. And uh, it's just part of the game, isn't it, right? Okay, so first things first. Mr. Owl's waiting for us, of course. Looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, Link. Just ahead lies Zora's domain. The Zoras have served the royal family to protecting this water source. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Yes, sir. All right. Tree. If I could actually... <laughs> yeah, here we go, right? That's what I wanted. Hello. And I got another one. Cool. Alright. Bomb time. Okay, what? Do I... This time, try just putting it down and not throwing it. Ah, there we go. Okay, we are in. Alright. Well, look at this guy. I love this little guy. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How about some magic beans? They aren't selling very well. How about 10? Yes. There's one. Brand new thing, by the way. Check it out. We now have this in our inventory screen because we've purchased our first one. Oh, oh I didn't mean to do that. All right, yep. Magic bean. So, what we do is stand by a s spot right here. You can plant a bean in the future. When we time travel seven years into the future, this will be a leaf, a kind of a magic leaf that allows us to uh, a quick transport system, if you will. Pretty cool. All right. Yes, Navi. Uh huh. Thank you. Yeah. 
All right, chomp, chomp, chomp. He wants to sell some more, of course. We will accommodate. Yes, I'll take another one. Thank you. I tend to just kind of like stock up right now. Uh, buy as many as I can. And the price goes up every time from 10, 20, 30, all the way up to 90 and 100. He has 10 total to sell. And so therefore that was the third one we bought from him. And of course it cost 30 rupees. This one will be 40. And you can see on uh, upper right hand corner, it says, you know, three right now um, that in, in our inventory of magic beans, because we uh, we used one, just bought three more, of course. My goodness, I'm explaining simple math to you, forgive me. Uh, yeah, buy another one. And that'll do it, because the next one's 60 and I only have 50 left. That's four, nice, okay. Remember what we saw over in the village. Of course, I could probably... No, I doubt there's 10 rupees in this grass. Don't need it. This won't take long, guys. I'm going to run right back over. If you remember when we got the Stone of Agony, when we started this, uh, it vibrated, indicating that hole in the ground that we can make appear with a bomb. Well, we're going there now. Underneath, there is a rupee, a gold one, and that is worth 200. So, we have 50 now. It's kind of like wasting 50, if you will. That's okay. Uh, we, can, uh, we can tank up, buy as many magic beans as we're able. And so that's what we're going to do. And you can see we're already back here. And here's, it's about to vibrate. You vibrate. Oh, there, there it is. All right, it's not very strong, but okay. Pulling out a bomb, we put it down. Little chime, and down we go. Oh yeah, forgot about these guys. Ocarina time. All right. Why do we have the ocarina? Remember, we play the sun song. Freeze these suckers in place. I do not want them uh, grabbing onto me and doing that disgusting motion on my back again. So, uh, if you saw what, what which in that recent episode, right? That oh, that that uh, that jerkwad grabbed me and, and killed me, and it's so freaking embarrassing. Yeah, it was the Mighty Collection episode, right? And uh, I'm like, no. Anyway. So, um, all right, with those guys down, guess what appears? A chest, okay? After we kill them, we kick it open, and there it is, guys. Oh, a huge rupee. The name is kind of on the nose, isn't it? What, what kind is that? It's the huge one. Oh, yeah. Got it. Okay, with that in hand, and we go the right direction. Um, let's head back to Zora's River. We're gonna buy some more magic beans. Let's see, let me see, let me do the math here. I shouldn't do math on camera. It's always a bad idea. Um, 60 and 70, that's 130. Crap, can we only buy like two more? That's okay. If you're like me, math has never been my strong suit. I can do math. I can understand math mathematical concepts. Um, I'm better with science. My wife is a science teacher. My best friend in the world and college roommate is the head of a physics department at a university. Um, my love of science fiction. I mean, science is something that I've always excelled at. Especially ever since school when they used to do those kind of like that testing and see how you do, I'd score off the charts for science. And yet I had no interest in going into science like my wife and like my friend. But it doesn't mean I don't love it. 
because science exposes the secrets of our universe, the mysteries of creation, and all these things, and I find it endlessly fascinating, which dovetails perfectly into my love of uh, time travel that we discussed last time. So, chomp, chomp, chomp. These are super popular magic beans. Right, there's one more. Okay, let's buy another one. Yep. So the next one, since this one was 70, uh, will be 80, and we are just under that. But that's okay. We have what? Yeah, we have six. We've used one. That's not, that's not bad. Meaning, in the near future, we can go around planting a bunch, a bunch of these for the future. All right, so grabbing our Kuko, sail your way over, and we can start making our way up Zora's River. You can do this without the chicken. However, look on your horizon, right above me there, piece of heart. Using, ah, oh, I hate that. All right, let's try this again. There we go. All right. Using the power of flight and our little cuckoo friend here. Soar across, throw him, and then boom. Right at the last second, let go of that sucker. I don't want him. All right. Jump across. <laughs> oh, you guys are getting the best today. All right, come here, Mr. Chicken. Come here. Uh, I just messed up big time. Stupid tech tech, get out of here. I do not want to hurt that chicken. He'll call in the legion to take me out. Okay, where, where are you? Oh, no. Where are you going? You're up there now? Yay, yay. Oh, guys. Murphy's Law. If something bad's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, especially when you're recording on camera live with everyone here. Oh, crud. Where'd you go, Mr. Chicken? I really wanted that piece of heart, too. And there's the frogs, by the way. We're not doing that this time, but... Uh, crap. Okay. Alright. You know what? We will have other opportunities. I'm sorry I'm such a bonehead. I can't believe I missed that jump. You know how I go on and on about the bloody auto jump, right? I mean, believe me. If you're like me, I enjoy the actual jump button that we have in Breath of the Wild and we have in... Uh, Tears of the Kingdom, right? Where we can choose to jump when we want to jump. So, we're doing this right here. Okay. Um, but, you know, for now, back when this game came out, I remember Nintendo talking about it. Yeah, uh, you know, it was such a... And by the way, now that it's nighttime... On the ladder. Another gold skull tall. Okay. Yeah, you know, they were talking about the marvels of auto jump. And speaking of. Uh and it is cool, you know, like, you know, meaning they were they were hyping it up because, you know, they didn't I think they wanted to um, this is my guess, right? This is just an educated guess. They wanted to separate it from the platforming, running around and jumping everywhere game that Mario is, okay? Because Mario is all about running and jumping, running and jumping, jump, 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 run, run, run. This is different. Whoops. And playing the Triforce song. Zelda's Lullaby. Uh, that's the royal family tune, which gives us access to Zora's Domain. But anyway, I think they really wanted to differentiate that. Of course, things aren't meant to last, right? 
and then they added that jump button. Of course, I love the heck out of that jump button in the modern, modern Zelda games. <clears throat> but there you go. Here we are, guys. I've always loved the music of this place. See that guy up there? We're gonna go see him in a moment. There is something special hidden behind the waterfall. This is Zora's domain. If you follow the sign, it takes us up to the throne room of the king. Oh, my dear sweet Princess Ruto, where is she gone? I am so worried. Yes, Princess Ruto is missing. This is the diving game. This can be um, sometimes easily done. Sometimes I miss it. I'm sure I'm like anyone else, so we're going to see how it goes. But the, the, the goal here is this. You dive off this waterfall. He's going to throw rupees into the water. We need to collect them by diving down into the water. If you do that within a time frame, you go back and see this guy. He gives you what's called a silver scale, which is the ability to dive deeper. It kind of gives us a little bit of the ability of the Zuras. So that's what we're about to do. Let's see how it goes. Alright, I believe that went five. Yeah. Looks like there's one right off the edge here, so I'm gonna kinda keep it. Okay, no. One more, one more. Turn, 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 turn. Okay, no, no, one more. Di go down, dive, 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 Link. All right. It's not as intuitive as it seems or looks. I can't fully explain that. I think if you've done this before, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it looks super easy, but once you're underwater, my sense of direction somehow gets screwed up a little bit. So, uh, like, but the point is we got him. So let's go back and see our silver scaled friend here by the waterfall. What a, what a graceful dive. Now, please take this. This is a scale of our kind, and with this, you can dive much deeper under the water. There it is, guys. We have the silver scale. Now, if we go to our subscreens, it is listed right here. Okay. Right below the, the bomb bag and the bullet bag and the bracelet and such. All right, with the silver scale. <laughs> oh, you guys are so welcome. Um... We can dive down. This is Lake Hylia. And, hey, look right down there. See under the water? See that right there? I'm actually targeting it. We're going to we're gonna dive down. With the scale, we can actually dive deeper and further than before. And I am just really acing everything today, aren't I? All right, here we go. Diving down. Got it. There's a message in a bottle. Just like the police song. By the way, yeah, back in uh, college, we actually, you know, I, I've had rock bands in both, um, you know, my own bands in high school and in college. I was lead singer. And, uh, you know, we, we play a bunch of different covers and we played a couple, we wrote a couple original songs. But yeah, we, we did Message in a Bottle. So 
at the end of it, though, you know, because I'd, I'd, I'd be singing, we'd go into kind of a, an extended uh, musical riff time, you know, where we're just kind of jamming out, continuing the song. And then I'd take out my saxophone and play a sax solo. So that was, that was incredible, just to be able to do that, both sing and play saxophone at the same time. And we did that with Message in a Bottle. So, yeah, our band in, in uh, college, we were called Goat Meal, as in oatmeal, but with a G, Goat Meal. So, yeah, uh, silly crap. Just, you know, silly college kids having fun, but boy, did we have fun. Oh, my dear sweet Princess Ruto, where is she gone? I was so worried. All right, so this is where. Remember that what we just got? Message in a bottle? We take it out and we show it to him. Oh, this letter. It's from Princess Ruto. Hmm, let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu? That's impossible. That's not possible. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my, pr my dear Princess Ruto. But since that stranger Ganondorf came here, Jabba Jabba has been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear. Of course, you'll go find Ruto, and you can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabba Jabba. Keep this letter, bottle, respectfully. So that gives us bottle number three. And he takes a sweet time of an hover, doesn't he? Alright, before we head off to Lord Jabu Jabu, we need something first. Now that we have three bottles, we have one empty bottle. The one that the message came in, the one he allowed us to keep, right down here, there are fish. And you can catch a fish in the bottle. Check out the icon. Upper right hand corner you can see that we have a fish in the bottle. So we head back up with our fish. Zora's Fountain. Now I'm pretty sure there's actually something that we can do before we enter the beast. You can actually run along this right here. You don't have to swim all the way. Taking out a bomb. And they're gonna make me a liar. Darn it, it's that rock. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, there is a there's a a fairy fountain right there. But we can't get it with the um There is a gold skull teller, though. Yeah, see, watch this. It's behind this rock right here. Oh, hold on, okay. That's what I thought, forgive me, yeah. Deceptive, right? And you'd think I'd remember this stinking thing. So, yes, fairy fountain. Let's get out our ocarina. So yeah, blow the wall, 
It doesn't look like a, like a wall you can blow, but yes, you can. So, um, a bomb takes care of it, giving us access to here. And this gives us the second of three special magic spells that'll be in our inventory. Welcome, Link. I am the great fairy of magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. It should be F Fjord's Wind. Yep. Yeah. This can actually set up warp points within dungeons, allowing you a saying right there, uh, to teleport back to a certain point uh, anywhere you set it. It's funny how little I use this particular spell. Um, and I, I have used it before. But, um, I haven't used it that often. But we have it, so check it out. Right here, that's what we just got there, and then there's Din Fire above it, and then there's one more to get after that. So, um, oh, going back in, let's grab our fish bottle. Got it, good to go. Um, Lord Jabu Jabu will not open his mouth, giving us access to his belly, uh, without giving him an offering. Which, of course, what does a big fish want to eat? A fish. So, that's what we're going to bring him. Yes, we will need Deku seeds. Um, until we get the boomerang, those are going to be really helpful. So, here we go. This is him. That's his giant face right there. Standing here. Press your button with your fish. Dump it out on the ground. Inside Lord Jabba Jabba's belly. We are here. Didn't mean to do that. I, I was coming back here to avoid them, the projectiles they were shooting at me. And I was going to do this pause, come over here, get my DQ shield out. Anyway, accidentally exited, but we are, we're going. All right, so. These doors are different than other places. They have these little organic switches, if you will, which releases the... Oh, would you stop it? Um, which releases the kind of webbing, if you will, around that. So, first place we want to go is this room. Straight on over. You. Who are you? I am Ruto, princess of the Zoras. What? Are you saying my father asked you to come save me? I'd never ask anyone to do such a thing. Letter in a bottle? I have no idea what you're talking about. My father is worried about me. I don't care. Anyway, I can't go home right now. And you, get out of here. Understand? She's a sweetheart. Yeah. She's a... She's a sweetheart. So, what do you... We, we gotta follow her. Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. I'm okay. I've been going inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly since I was little, but Lord Jabu Jabu is very strange today. 
There are electrified jellyfish and strange holes all around. On top of that, my precious stone was, but, well, that's none of your business. Anyway, you go home now, understand? And we try again. You're that worried about me? Then I will give you the honor of carrying me. However, I won't leave until I find the thing I'm looking for. You better believe me. All right, so the goal here is to uh, pick her up and we use her, if you will. Um, we, we carry her with us to both protect her and to sometimes use her as a, uh, a, a weapon, if you will. So, okay. Wait, that's what you want to do first is toss her up there like that, and then what you don't want because this 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 button right here activates this water level and, and raises it. Well, we can't carry her across. Gold school tall. Uh, we can't carry her across when um. Oh, I already got a bottle. Cool. There we go. Got a fairy. Nice. And that gives us three at the moment. I'll take it. Um. Yeah, sorry. Uh, we can't carry her across when the water level is high. So, what do we do? We toss her up on that ledge first, then trigger the water then climb up and we're able to get out on the other side where she's waiting for us. So that's kind of the, what you have to do there. We're waiting, we're waiting. We're waiting. Okay, here we go. They're, I'm waiting for this elevator. Meanwhile, that guy keeps shooting at you relentlessly. So, when the elevator comes, jump on. Hey, chill out, princess. Um, jump on. And don't do that. Yep, uh huh. I knew better. Oh, I know. Come here. Hurry, hurry. Okay. This time we'll try to go the correct way. This way. There we go. All right. Excuse me. Okay. Carrying her back to this room. See that big tentacle looking thing? Just, I guess, what it is. Um, that's kind of foreshadowing what is coming up. So, what we need to do is there are these rooms, and these switches require us to use her to hold them down. And I probably just went the wrong way. Yeah. I did. Yeah, she's not happy for me. Alright, yeah, how inconsiderate. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. Alright, next. I right, can't go that way. Sometimes I go the wrong way, guys. Sorry. Um, Yes, there are tentacles blocking those side rooms, but let's give this one a try. Yeah, okay. I should have gone right. I went left. All right. Is this the one? All right, cool. All right. 
All right, this is, I believe, a timed room with a bunch of enemies that you need to snipe out of the air. Or maybe it's not timed per se, but what you do? Those guys will kind of wobble after you after you hit them. Wait till they stop wobbling, if you will, and then. Have here. That's right. Much better than the slingshot. The boomerang is not only a projectile weapon, but it is also a, a tool to retrieve items such as uh, gold skull tullas and uh, heart pieces and stuff like that. So, kind of the kid version of the hook shot and long shot. Uh, a tool that will retrieve and attack and that kind of thing. So, we have the boomerang. Now, remember, we went left accidentally earlier. We're going back there now. When I don't hit these bloody things. And... That big red tentacle. Is this going to deactivate? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, she needs to weigh it down. The big red tentacle, we now have the ability to actually fight it and defeat it with the boomerang. Which I love. I love the mechanics of this. So cool. And what it, my, my strategy is, I, I keep rotating around the room. I keep locked on. See, it's locked on to its weak point. I keep rotating around the room. Until I get enough hits to destroy it like that. It's not that hard. When that happens, this is what? Dungeon map? I gotta stop guessing. Um, it's either dungeon map or the compass. Yep, map. Alright, cool. So we have a map. That is one tentacle down. Princess waiting for us. Hello, Leia. I mean, Rudo. I love the banter in Empire Strikes Back. Han Solo relentlessly referring to her as your worship. Yeah, your worshipfulness. And, and all, you know, the way uh, Han Solo talks to her is sarcasm and like, anyway, I just love it so much in Empire Strikes Back. So, um, and I always, I always think about that. When it, you know, when I think about Princess Rudo, I think about Empire Strikes Back and Han Solo and Princess Leia. So, um, is there one more? Where? Oh, there, there you are. Okay, those are timed, as you just saw. Kill all the bubbles within the certain time frame. Releases our special chest here in the middle. Giving us the compass. Let's check out our map. All right, so check out the map. You can see that flashing section. That's where we are now. But of these, what, five rooms at the top right here, there's two adjacent to us, right? Middle one and the other one on that side. Those indicate, since they're not lit up yet, that those are the places that we need to go. So, here we go. Coming back out, heading towards the middle. We're going to head up to that center... Ch ah, stop hitting me. That center chamber. Ah, maybe not. 
Well, I have the fairy on standby, which, my goodness, if these bloody jerks keep touching me, uh, yeah, we're gonna need it. That's why we have them. Again, charging ahead with such bravado that... That's what I do. Alright. I'm getting turned around. Here we go. Alright, Princess, you stay here. Your worship. And I'm going to take care of this sucker. Takes care of the red one. All right, come on, princess. Yeah. You're welcome. All right, now heading off towards that center chamber. Trying not to get scorched by those jerkwads again. This room has additional enemies here. It, it can help to take care of them first when you're not getting wiped out by the stupid tentacle. All right, there we go. Now let's lock on to Mr. Guy in the middle. Checking out our map, that is all taken care of nicely. So, let's get the princess. By defeating all of those tentacles, if you recall, in this main room, there was one spot, I want to say it's, no, it's not this one. I think it's this one. I hope it's this one. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Remember what we said earlier? Lock on. Boomerang. Brings us a gold skull teller. Nice. Alright, so. Again, checking out our map. Yeah, there are two rooms off of here. I could hear that sucker from across the way. Another Skulltella. That's it! That's what I've been looking for! Throw me up there onto the platform! Uh, please? That's that third spiritual stone, by the way. Princess Rido got the spiritual stone. But why, Princess Rido? Oh my goodness, I finally found my mother's stone. I got very upset when Lauren Jabba Jabba swallowed it. While I was fe feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so surprised that it dropped inside, but now that I found it, I don't need to be here anymore. So, take me home right now. 
She's such a sweetheart. And we're going to try, but... Dun, dun, dun. What is this? An octopus? I'm not sure if that is an octopus or not, but... Oh, well. Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, yeah, I gotta hit the back of him. Slap him in the butt, basically. Yeah, I love how they're showing. I hate it when they go outside the uh, the framework and the walls like that. It's so, ah, uh... oh, look at that. That's so annoying. All right. Oh crud! Here we go. Takes care of him. But as you can see, the princess is no longer with us. And we are going to try to get that fairy that. Okay. Nice to have retrieved that fairy. So we are back up to three. Yeah, good job. Use your boomerang. Oh, come on. There we go. Here, you use your boomerang to stop and like, well, yeah, you're not supposed to fall off the little uh, wiggly jelly things, but yes, um, you use your boomerang to stop them in their tracks, if, turning, shoot, oh, don't knock me off, go, 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 no, okay, dude, you are toast. Jerk wide. All right. Here we go. This opens up a whole section that was not open to us before. Um, if you remember earlier, I uh, I jumped off with Princess Ruto and we fell back down. Well, this is what I saw, right? And kind of my uh, exuberance for the moment. I'm like, oh yeah, I know that area. No, no, it was too early for it. But bringing a crate from the other side, like you just saw, we can hold down that switch since we do not have Princess Ruto with us, we, um, I'm gonna snipe these guys out, there we go, um, love the boomerang, oh, it's such good stuff, there we go, ah, oh, this makes life so much easier, okay, so yeah, since we don't have Princess Ruto, we need to use a crate. Uh, to hold down one of those switches that requires holding down. So, 
Uh, check it out on the wall. Another one. This one we can actually just climb for. Because we're going up here anyway. Now this is kind of cool. Oh, don't fall down. There we go. Um, this is kind of a cool section. There's a kind of a glass pane uh, sitting here. But with a boomerang, right? Boomerangs flying like an arc. And I missed it again. Am I too close too far? There we go. Um, we can Z-target it. Hit the switch. Okay. Now, looking at our map, we have a sweet little icon there. This, my friends, is the boss of Lord Jabba Jabba. Bioelectric and enemy Baronade? He's named, right? So, this is kind of a multi stage thing. Um, as he has certain defenses he will deploy, and that's one of them. But the first thing is to take care of these tentacles that hold him to the ceiling. And then he release, releases these lovely things. Okay, there are jars around the outside where you can get... You want to take care of as many of those like little defensive shell things that surround him as you can. I'm Z-targeting the best of my ability here. Okay, no, stop. Okay. Alright. Yeah, they're spinning around, they're spinning around. Kind of like a, a ride at the, uh, the state fair or something, right? Um, And here we go again. All right. Trying to get a Z target. Come on, stop it. All right. Here we go. So back and forth, you take care of his defenses, get the tentacles first, then he swings around, all that kind of stuff, stun him with your boomerang, you just saw it happen. And then a couple good swipes with your sword and he's good to go. What was giving Lord Jabba Jabba your... And there's a heart container. Giving him a tummy ache is now gone, and look who's waiting for us. You, you're late. What took so long? You're useless. I was just lonely, that's all. Just a little. It's funny, though. What you're about to see. How she changes her tune, right? Typical princess stuff. Not Zelda, right? She's kind of like the opposite of Zelda. Zelda's this strong... Independent, gracious, yet kind. 
this one's a real brat. So, it's all in the upbringing. You, you look cool. Cooler than I thought you would. Anyway, just a little. Well, anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. You mean the spiritual stone of water? Zora Sapphire? Don't you? My mother gave it to me and said I should give it only to the man who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement ring. All right. I'll give you my most precious possession, Zora Sapphire. There it is, guys. The third spiritual stone. You obtained Zora Sapphire. This is the spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. Her most precious possession? You don't know what she's talking about, but you finally collected all three spiritual stones. Go back and see Princess Zelda. Don't tell my father. Here you go, guys. Lord Jabba Jabba. As you can see, right here, first we got the emerald, then the rupee, ruby, and now the sapphire. That is all three. And look, she's back with her dad. There we go. Um, yep, yeah, see, there she is right there. All's right in Zora's domain once again. That, my friends, is Lord Jabba Jabba's belly. Next time. We have a date with Destiny. We're going to go to the Temple of Time. And now that we have all three spiritual stones, we can unlock the Door of Time. The big stone wall door thing that um, just unleashes the, le the next part of the game. And... Everything changes from there. And without too many spoilers, and most of you already know, uh, we will travel through time once we gain access to. And we're going to get, of course, the most epic sword ever, uh, the Master Sword. So we will definitely be doing that next time. And before we go... Let's get one more magical bean. And we'll need to plant these soon, won't we? We do have enough to get one more. Thank you. There you have it, guys. Lord Jabba Jabba's belly. This has been a blast. I, I, I do love this dungeon. And next time, I say, again, Temple of Time. Cashing in our three spiritual stones. Traveling to the future. I'm going to do some time traveling. So, until next time, guys. I appreciate you hanging out with me. All the new subscribers. You guys mean a lot to me. Keep subscribing. You want to see more videos like this in the future? This is Loud Boy. You guys have a lovely day. Until next time, take care. Thanks, guys. Bye.